Aries, hi, it's Lisa here from What's a Name Tarot. I'm here to do your monthly reading for September 2022. These are general readings only, so just take with you what resonates. Check your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, any number synchronicities that may occur, and cross watches are welcome. So, Aries, September. Oops, my drink's right there and it's blocking the last card. <laughs> right, that's better. Overall, three of wands and it is upright. So you are seeing things a lot more clearer um, here for the month. Whether that's in a positive way, whether it's in not such a positive way, that light bulb in your head moment, but also that wake up moment. So that clarity is absolutely needed here. Present energy, seven of swords. There's some sort of gossip and backstabbing that's um, going on here. Maybe that you're caught up in that. You're trying to find other ways around things there. From the seven of swords, crossing you is the eight of swords. And it is finding other ways around things. Watching your words here um, very carefully. In your strength area, judgment, it is reversed. And I feel it comes back to the situation as well. Watching your words, as I mentioned, but not judging others. Don't let others judge you either. It does work both ways. Keep an open mind here. But I feel at the moment there's a bit of judgmental energy going on, whether this is you, whether this is them, and it's causing a bit of um, turmoil. We'll clarify everything shortly. Focus area is the Six of Wands. It is reversed here. Okay, and it is focusing on getting that upright um, and getting that victory, being able to move forward and find other ways around things. Past energies, a lot of reversals. Okay, Seven of Pentacles reversed in the past. No matter how much hard work you are putting into something, just didn't seem to be taking off as you had hoped. Incoming energies, the fall, it is reversed as well. Um, not wanting to take a chance with anything here or risk um, and make a move. Um, whatever this move is, remembering overall that this clarity is upright um, with that three of wands. So it is actually looking before you leap, so to speak, once this gets upright there. What you need to know, five of cups upright and you are you're going through some sort of emotional loss or grief or sadness here and it's kind of bringing you down and it brings all these reversals into place here but I feel like this clarity comes into place now as well where you're able to see the loving energy that is around you and um, not be so focused on the sadness I do always say don't let others tell you to hurry up and move on or to get over it but it is um, a, taking up a lot of of your energy and your time at the moment and it's causing all this um, to be in reverse. How others see you? The Empress. They do see you as being very aware of what's going on around you but just maybe not being able to untangle everything here. And again, we'll clarify everything shortly because your income, um, your incoming energies, your hopes and fears, <laughs> we've been there, been there, done that. Um, yeah, your hopes and fears, upright, king of swords, love that. Very logical thinking, very level-headed, very clear with your thinking. This clarity comes into place with that king of swords, giving you that level head, seeing the bigger picture, seeing what's really happening here. Your final outcome, it is reverse, Princess of Pentacles. There's an offer here being put on the table. It's something at the moment um, that you're caught up in all this. You're not even wanting to look at that offer there, but it is getting this offer up right. Maybe problem shared, problem halved, but also this clarity 
maybe looking at the fine print here with that offer and getting things up right and someone on board here whether it's around love around work around home um, situation that you are so caught up in it's it's kind of just all consuming in here for you um, and there's others here that's that's putting this offer out so as I said Aries will clarify everything here every time I say it's maybe not to do with love if you're looking for a love reading and the underlying um, but then the clarifications all swing it around a different way three of wands overall Aries you get the Hierophant, Queen of Wands, Princess of Swords. Could be dealing with the Taurus. Outside pressure, interference, niggling away here. You're ready to follow your own beliefs here. Follow your heart. It is standing up for yourself. Letting your voice be heard. Bring it on. You've got this confidence and determination to follow your passions, to follow your dreams here. And at the same time, that Three of Wands is giving you a lot more clarity around that. It may also be giving you some clarity around this peer pressure that's being put on you, which um, is all this all-consuming energy currently. Starting with present energy, Seven of Swords reversed. You get the Hanged Man, Eight of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. You're possibly sitting on the fence here waiting for someone to make their mind up around love. Um, this whole new chapter when it comes to love. There's a lot of focus, a lot of dedication being put into this new beginning to get this off the ground. But again, it seems to be all words and no action um, with this. And it's kind of left you sitting on the fence and hanging around waiting for a decision to be made. So it's possibly that somebody, um, if this isn't you, somebody else that is actually, as I said, all words and no action. Things don't, things aren't taking off here. Eight of Swords that you are crossed with there. You get the Six of Swords, Five of Swords, Temperance, Five, Six, Seven, Eight of Swords, all in that little cluster there. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius, but feeling like you're banging your head against a brick wall, waiting for this decision to be made. Feel like you are starting to actually get get yourself together here and to start moving forward um, regardless. Making a clear decision, going with the flow. But um, yeah, you're walking away from this battle, still a victory in itself and taking some action to get, get this energy moving. Judgments in the strength area, it is reversed. All these cards are trying to fly out here. You get justice, the devil, nine of pentacles. Yeah, sweet justice here, good karma, good result for the hard work that you do put in here. That success is there for the taking. But again, there's some sort of judgmental energy. It's possibly outside coming in and um, it's quite negative, quite toxic, quite unhealthy energy that you do feel stuck and bound to. But um, you have got this justice here and you have got this nine of pentacles. Claiming some independence and getting that success moving towards you or you're moving towards that success doesn't just land in your lap, but it's your own sweet justice right there. Focus area, Aries. Six of Wands reversed. You get the Princess of Cups, Five of Wands, the High Priestess. Possibly got your guard up here because of all the drama, all the conflict. There's a lot of disagreements here about how to move forward here. And your focus is possibly on this love. Could be a younger energy, child or pet. It doesn't have to be. Could be somebody significant. Maybe an age gap involved here. But um, you're quite content watching all this drama go on around you and it's while you're quite content doing that it's also holding you back from moving forward here because you are just sitting back watching everything unfold and um, that six of wands can get upright maybe need needing a little more involvement here to be able to move forward 
Seven of Pentacles reversed in the past. Six of Pentacles, the Magician, Nine of Swords. Yeah, because there's still a lot of focus on the past, even further back here, there's been a lot of stress, a lot of overthinking of things, a lot of sleepless nights. You've been manifesting a way to be able to move forward and to, as I said, untangle yourself from all this um, energy currently. But at the same time, it is also manifesting correctly and um, keeping it real. But putting some plans into place, creating the magic, creating that process of being able to disentangle from this situation back here. So the fall reversed, incoming energies, not wanting to take any chances here. You get the Ten of Cups, King of Cups, Knight of Pentacles. There's a lot of love and emotional happiness here. There's also emotional support. And I say when you're all tangled up and um, in this, like especially within, uh, it is like very difficult at times to see that there is support around you but also being in control of your emotions it's been a long journey you're not wanting to take these chances because you're not wanting to go into these repeat patterns and take one step forward and five step back um, so it is actually trying to get this energy upright sometimes you've got to take chances sometimes they work sometimes they don't Overall, you do have this Three of Wands clarity, seeing the bigger picture. So it is being able to look before you leap here. But it's been a long, slow journey to get things to move forward. Wow, Aries. What you need to know, Five of Cups, upright. You get the Three of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, Two of Wands. We talked about partnership, collaboration, working together. And I feel like you are... Um, there's somebody on board here, as I mentioned earlier, but willing to step up, take the lead and show the way here. And you're proud of how far you have come emotionally, but you're starting to release yourself from the sadness. I always see it, as I, as I mentioned, in your own time, in your own way. But you are starting to refocus on where to. And um, it may be a bit of a pipe dream at the moment, a bit of a daydream energy, but that is always step one and putting the plans into place to build that solid foundation and to get this journey um, started. How others see you, the Empress. Princess of Wands, Knight of Wands, Death. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. Very compassionate, very giving energy here. No matter how rocky this ride seems to be, you are still on board and you are still focused on getting this journey done. Even if it means releasing this past and now just focusing on what does lie ahead. Nothing wrong with that at all. Digging deep with the Empress, following your heart, following your gut instinct, following your beliefs here, but at the same time, you know, knowing that all eyes now um, are forward and not what has been going on back here. Hopes and fears, King of Swords. I'm just going to turn the air conditioner off. Put the jersey on because it was a bit cold this morning, but now it's getting ugh, too hot. <laughs> Hopes and fears, King of Swords. Upright, I love that. King of Wands, wow, the chariot, the lovers. Could be dealing with Cancer or Gemini here. Soulmate, Twin Flame, somebody significant. Balancing this chariot out. There is the two of you. Balancing the chariot out and getting this journey started with that clear level-headed thinking and with this confidence and um, this being in control over where this chariot is heading. Love that. We mentioned that before. Somebody on this journey teamwork partnership collaboration your final outcome princess of pentacles reversed six of wands judgment queen of swords and i feel it's just like it's kind of like turning this full up right as well this whole different approach possibly than what you would usually take towards something or someone very direct very upfront I always say again don't judge others don't let others judge you that hierophant energy could be that judgmental energy coming in there and it's like shutting that down right before it gets started even and then that in itself puts this princess of pentacles upright that teamwork partnership collaboration and claiming that six of wands victory right there 
but it is maybe an approach that you're not usually um, one to take possibly used to um, at the moment sitting back and biding your time but now it's like pretty much look here this is how it is this is doing it my way and um, as I said back here letting your voice be heard so Aries interesting let's see to finish what the universe has to say Love this, your own energy. You get the Emperor upright, High Priestess upright, all uprights, King of Pentacles. And it's just confirming that things starting to come right here. Very much in control of the situation. Divine masculine energy, logical, level headed, confident, determined here. You know, as I said, you've got your guard up a bit. Quite happy just watching what's going on around you, but I feel with the King of Pentacles, the Emperor either side of this High Priestess, your guard is starting to come down as things do start to pick up and move forward. Maybe moving forward quite quickly, inundated with success, as I say, overnight success, 0 to 360 in 5 seconds. It may be quite sudden, quite overwhelming even, but it's quite out of the blue here, but things are picking up here from that universe so love that to finish Aries so that's what I have for the month do hope it helped thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time for the weeklies see ya bye